That this is my new year. And I am new. And I expected to see new things from today. Whatever you heard about me in the past, forget about it. Whatever you have seen me doing in the past, this is my new year. Get ready to see a new person. Get ready to see a new vision. Get ready to see new blessings. New breakthrough. New characters. New integrity. In your spiritual level. No New understanding. New life. And the new destiny. In Jesus Christ's name. Come here for the new year. I want you to take your Bible and your notebook. I don't know where you are watching from. This is not the time to sleep. Because I don't want you to sleep off your blessings. For me, I decide not to sleep. Because I don't want to sleep off my blessings. I've been waiting for this time to hear the mind of God. To hear the will of God this year. To hear the plan of God this year. Our title for today you have found mercy. You have found mercy. So whatever you have done, that was supposed to be your judgment, your punishments, your harvest, you find mercy. And this is time for you to accept and encounter the fruit of mercy. What's the Bible saying about mercy? Let's read in the book of Hebrew chapter, chapter 5 verse 16. Hebrew chapter 5. Verse 16. 
Hebrew chapter, I mean Hebrew chapter four, sorry for that, Hebrew chapter four, verse 16. My apology in the new year. Do you accept it? Yes. When you qualify for blessings. Yes. Thank you. Let's read it. Oh, that is thing. Aha, we did not know. 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 Tu ne umbamo, tu talwe longenda, se tu mone e filongenda, loku tu kwafa, pe vingoliwa. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to understand. Onda hala ushkuteko. Your walk as a Christian in this year. Oko enda koye, onga un Christe, mondo. Don't expect for you to harvest mahango in your field if you do not calculate. So we have to cultivate and we have the responsibility to plant. So the way you understand the life of born again is no longer manna from heaven. Every generation has a liberation. So that time there was manna falling from heaven. But this time it's no longer the same. So I want you to walk in the principle of the word of God. The problem why we are failing every year is because we don't want to walk in the principles. If you have a house of upstairs and you open a window, and you speak in tongues, you roll down, you cry, you pray, and you say you jump, you die. Don't think because you are born again you will not die. Don't think when the Bible says you become new, you should so, uh, uh, misinterpret the principality of the Bible. Don't miss the fact of life how you have to live. So you should understand the reality. So that you honor God. For God to honor you. The same way you expect your children to honor you. It's the same way God is expecting for you to honor his way. So that he takes you as an obedient child. So that you qualify for what you are looking for. We are living in a life full of factors. We should honor the principality of life, physically and spiritually. There is no shortcut in life. Even the Bible is not shortcut. How can you live your life anyhow with? And expect to live the way the Bible says you should live. From where? Bible is not a magic. You should read the Bible. One night. You have been listening to this soup on your lips when you are listening to this preachers that say, hey, honor, hear what they are saying, but don't follow their way. This is a new generation. So you can't preach and walk beside the factors 
Onye ito duro ku tifa ombe pende ike uli kongolo yoshiri. And they expect the God to honor you. Ovo atele la karunge kufi maneke. Why did you not honor his word? Manga vino duri kakoncho vana ye. You want to people to honor your word? Wahalanu vafi maneke o ichawe. Yet your life is not the fruit of your word. Ovo ngaramonyo ye ke isho yi mati yo ichawe. Tell your neighbor that your lifestyle is your character. Your lifestyle is your way. So we want to see the way you live. We want to see your characters so that we follow you. Ministers of the gospel. Hano alane ilonga bashiri mume baingeli. They don't get attracted by followers. Iha nama kalanduri. They don't look for followers. Iha kongo alanduri. Followers attracted to them. Ano alanduri yovu hana makuvu. Because they live what they preach. Oshe shonga la mnyere avu eilinga shihavu tifa. Even if the Bible says there is mercy, mercy is there if you follow the principle. Some of you have been stealing. You're going to be shocked now. Eighty-five percent of you, you have been stealing. How do you steal? You send the SMS to your wake. That you are sick. That you are not sick. You are sick. You are sick. Because you want that salary. To be complete. Yet you don't want to wait for it. You have been stealing. Don't think I don't know when I don't speak about it. Huh? You are saying you are sick, yet you are not laying down in bed. You have been stealing. At your company. You have been stealing. At your company. You have been stealing. At your company. You have been stealing. Stealing the government. It's not different between you and these ones that are doing fish rod. Kapone olo kopogati koye na vavo fish rod. It's not different. Kapone olo ko. Because even you have been stealing. So today I catch you already dead. Nenonde kuhangere la ne. So this is a you. We need to throw away all the old things. Everything that was not right. That you have been doing. That is the reason why you don't testify. That's the reason why you are not what you say you are. That's the reason why. You are not reaching there or moving there at the level where you want to live. What you do, which is out of the Bible, that's what attracting witches to do with you. Yes. That's what attracting secrets to do with you. And in the new year, I want you to understand the difference between temptation and challenges. Oh, temptation and your first desires. Space is different. You cannot pray against temptations. You cannot run away from temptation. You can't. As long as you live, you need them. That's why you live. You need them. In fact, for you to become a genuine Christian, unless you see them. 
Opo ukaro on Christe washiri onge ngeke washa keneka. Because even if I give you diamond now. Ushashe sheke pay fena nde ku pokawe. Don't think that you are rich. No dira dira ku chwa ushipona. So you have to wait it for you to be tested. Ano una ku tere no kawo ku kakona akonwe. So, so that you will see the genuineness of it. Then we get inspired. That yes, it's good. We need it. We can use it. We can benefit from it. How will Jesus Christ get inspired by you? That yes, you are the daughter that you have been looking for. That you are a daughter that you can trust. That you are a son that you cannot just see removed by any lady. That you are a married or your soul. No one has right to forgive. Not to do a daughter. Because these young ones, youth, eh, they think because they are not married, they have access to test any lady like a kapana. Every time you fornicate with a woman, there's only two things involved. I repeat myself. Hear me all. Wake up. Don't say I did not say it. Tomorrow when you want to kill yourself. Uh, hear me. That every time you go in fornication. There is only two things involved. Whether you are married, you are a divorcee, you are cohabitate, there is only two things involved. Either you lose the blessing. Or the partner lose the blessing. It's only to face no. One have to lose it. And the life that you are living now difficult. It's because many have been benefiting from you. There's always a demon sending them to you. There is always sending demon to you, even you are married, you forget that you are married. Because God wants something precious in you. Sometimes they see you, you receive a clap here. And you recover everything. So the later on they will start coming because they see some small light. Because light attracts every good thing. That's why the Bible says we are not children of darkness, but we are children of the light. But all those years, you have been today, you are a child of the light. Tomorrow, you are a child of darkness. After you realize that you are in trouble, you run to your knees. Lord, I need mercy. But are you sure you are going to maintain it? The fact that you receive it, and you cannot maintain it, then it will not work for you. The same way if I receive the anointing. Well, let me tell you three things that will show you that this person is genuine. That will show you that this person is from God. You can even test it with me. Then you get your answer. If you give a person, whether a man or a woman, you give the person power. You give them money. Good money. And they receive access to sleep of any woman. So then you will know. Are you going to receive your reward? Can I give you one of the examples? 
Remember your comrade. All your comrades. Oh, comrade, when they are campaigning in the location, yeah, I'm going to do this, I am good. You people, you, that is not right the way they are treating you. You you have too much freedom to have this and this and this and to have land there and there and there. Because they are not there with power. They promise everything. They can come close to you. They can have time to listen to you. But watch out if they receive power and money. They will exchange their characters with what they have. So means they change. It's camouflage. So they will no longer have time to listen to you. But they do, they hold their pocket. And they say, eh, you should go to go and talk to counselor or to the community, what, what. Go to that office. Because they are not the whole they say they so you should be wise I know. to follow people who are trustworthy. Don't just trust, follow anyone who opened their mouth. Because there is 95% for them to change. And failure. Failure. You come in the church looking for Christ. And you meet a beast. Sucking what you have. After you become poor, they throw you back. Behind them. They honor the new person. That's what they do. When you become poor, they are no longer using. They have nothing use of you. So this year, I want your spiritual eyes to open. So that you know when God is talking and you know when God is not talking. You know when you meet a scammer. Even on the altar. So don't live in the old life. Every day I like to say it. Whatever anointing that you receive, that I don't know how. I don't know how you receive it. But it costs you money. You exchange it with money. It's fake. It's fake. So that's why you can buy from me a car. And if you don't change, you yourself will tell you to inquire the characters of Jesus Christ. Then the Holy Spirit will follow you. Nothing will allow attract the Holy Spirit to follow you. When I was studying the book of Proverbs, and I was very inspired. So I was somebody was talking to me. I heard a voice saying, yeah. when I read the scripture at the same time, when I was reading the scripture, the scripture says that when you honor God and fear God, then He will give you power and wealth. He will give you power, honor, and wealth. Then I come to understand that I heard the voice saying that if in you, if you continue to follow, even Namibia can receive a portion 
from that amendment. Na mimi ndio tatulu yoku tapoloshi topoa ke bai kolo. People will see job. Ano tata bulilonga. People will be delivered. Ano tata mangurua. Their doors will be open. Omi vero da wata die ululua. They will become more closer to Jesus Christ. Da bei ne nune ne pope bila Jesus. They will learn the voice of Jesus Christ. Ne ta vista vista wa shiva e ulila Jesus Christo sa. Just the same way I'm talking to you. Nga sheka di popina. I talk to him the way I talk to you. The secret is this that it's because I spend more time with you. Oh, sure. 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 Become more closer to the voice in the world. Hello, Gahote. You know, Nepo is the new way. Every little moment you need. I don't know if it's clear. Can you sing a verse? When you spend much time in sin, then if you follow it, you are poor. You are in the cold one day. Then you will come more closer to see power. Hello, Gahote. You know, Nepo is the new way. You are in the cold one day. To become more stronger than you. They will start whispering to you. They will start showing you. Come on, wake up, wake up. So some men they just look at a woman who ain't half naked. From there they see. Because they in the pain sin. They get up in the pain by sin. They get connected to sin. Then sin and that. But when you spend more time with the fear of God, in the fear of God, ask yourself, ask yourself, how can I honor God? How can I fear God? How can I hear God? How can I spend more time of God? How will I know God is going? Oh, 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 how will I know God is going? Because you open your heart, you prove to him that you are hungry. You came to that church to be fed. 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 You came to that church but into righteousness. Righteousness is very easy. Very much easy. If you look at everything that you have been enjoying in okay. this world, and you count them that they are vanity after vanity. Look at you when you have been taking alcohol and tell me what you benefit. What is that that you benefit that you can show me? Look at yourself when you have been in fornication. What do you benefit? Look at yourself when you have been in fornication. Some of you, you are living a life that you don't want to live because of sin. Some of you have sleepless night because of sin. Some of you are homeless because of sin. Some of you are homeless because of sin. What is that that you test in sin? And it's permanent. This is a new year. Tell yourself, I'm no longer going to honor alcohol. 
Young boys, tell yourself, young men, tell yourself, I'm no longer going to honor spirit of lust. We are just men like you. But look at me, how many years I'm married now. But still, living with the same woman. Look at you. 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 What is that that you benefit? You lose everything. You lose them all. This month, my heart was bleeding. I met a very young man. Of 26 years. He's not talking. He's dead to one side. Stroke. Asking what happened. I was arguing with my girlfriend. What happened? My girlfriend is living in the store. So it was far somewhere. And I was there, we were talking in the phone and started arguing. I know from the misunderstood, I get angry. I get angry. Oh, what is wrong with you? 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 Oh, what is wrong you have never received a revelation that is your future wife. Number one. You put your family in problem. Because, because of sin. Number one, when they've been fornicating, is sin. And it continues growing. And the fornication ends. And the anger ends. Unforgiveness ends. It's growing now. I live together. It's growing. Then from there, he starts even hating himself because of anger. Then he shoots himself. Now he's not he's not talking. The the is and the doctor saying that the breath is inside. And he cannot walk. I said, my brother, I'm only going to ask you one question. So now that you are trying to kill yourself, why? What are you for here? What are you doing here? Why can't you just lie down in the hospital and die because you wanted to kill yourself? Guess what he said. I make a mistake. Hey, imagine. Making a mistake, messing up with life. And when I was praying for him, I heard a voice telling me that you wanted to kill the lady. So, young ladies, be careful. Or young men, be careful. So, the day the devil will come when you start arguing. So the same demon can be stronger also. The way it was stronger to that young man. So the more you sin, your sin is growing. 
Even now, your sin is growing. Some of you are sitting here and say, I'm supposed to go and join my friends so that we celebrate in the bar. But you forget that you are alive, you are alive now by mercy. You find mercy. We find mercy. And if we find mercy, then you misuse it. If you find the message, then we mess it up. We may lost it. And you may not find it anymore. So this year, pray for mercy. Start of your life. For me, I my belief is not normal. Because I'm not. People they believe that this is my weakness. Leave it. Don't talk about it. This is my secret. We don't need to know about it. Me, I don't have all those nonsense. And I will not have them. Because I am not. I am not of myself. Whether the food that I put inside, whether what you see, all of these things is the testimony of Jesus Christ. So I have nothing to boast about it. If you are saying you are having your weakness and your secret, then you are not born. Good morning. I the Lord of God. May the Lord of God multiply in your life. I pray that God will find trust in you again. Because you keep making the covenant and break it. Making the new one break it again. Making it break it again. Many you are born again in the mouth. But you forget to allow one again to enter your heart. The problem why you are fake is because you are born again in the mouth. But you refuse to give your heart to be born again. Are you here? Hear me, oh. I want to leave you to go behind there. Because all the people who are born again halfway, they oh, like to sit behind. I want to leave even to run on top of you like this and go behind there. To tell them today, oh. Because maybe tomorrow I may not see them. Because they are going to have wounds, they are going to refuse to recover. Because today they are what? Those so wounds are going to refuse to recover. Those wounds of the word, it has no medicine beside the word. So today they will be cut. And they are going to hide in the house, believing that they are going to be fine. On, on their own. Because they don't have wisdom and knowledge that they need to come back so that they will be healed. This is a new year. With a new word. New grace. New people, new wonderful people, new divine people in divine salvation church of all nations. So get ready for a new life. Thank you. I want you to raise up your hand if you have been uh, living today 
you have Jesus. Tomorrow you have Satan. Raise up your hands. Today you, are, today you are doing good things, tomorrow you are doing bad things. So that is to tell you that tomorrow you are in the light, the next day you are in the darkness. And you are robbing yourself now, you are scamming yourself. In the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm, you are scamming yourself. Because every time you come like this, you scam yourself. When you sin, you start over again. When you start over, you are complaining. Man of God, my life is up and down, up and down, up and down. You are scamming yourself. So you need to stop it today. And you see this way that Jesus Christ is speaking. This is not my way. Look at my lifestyle. So I am what I'm saying. I am what the word says I am. So I'm a testimony to you. And I'll continue to be a testimony. And even in the new, I'm the first one to have a testimony. As you rest up your hands to be a new person, to receive the peace that the enemy has stolen in your life, I want you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I came to you in this new year. I realized that as I heard your voice today, I've heard the true gospel. Lord Jesus Christ, I've been walking in dishonesty. For I've received a false gospel. I was given a false word. I was connected to a falsehood spirit. I was introduced to a false Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Today you have opened my eyes through your word today. I believe that from today henceforth I'm forming a new foundation with you that I will follow you. I will no longer walk in darkness. I will see no more. For I called you to come in me to be the Lord of my life to change my heart to be a testimony wheresoever I walk to be a testimony wheresoever I walk to carry your love and your glory and the fruit of your love wherever I'm going Lord Jesus Christ whosoever do not believe in you from today on when they meet me let them see your fruit for them to believe that you are alive and all the words that you speak it bear fruits in the physical I accept you, Lord. I have changed. I became a new person. I returned. And I gave myself. 
Pama Paife, I am strengthened now. On the Kotoka, I am on the Pashuka, I am also. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ.